Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, boys and girls. I am Mr. Batman of MrBatman.com. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. I believe the Bible is true and correct right from the very first verse where it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Recently, I had a question from a gentleman. He said, I have some questions for you. Uh, you say the example of DHFR is just adaptation of the new available information already in the genome and not new information. But it's possible to produce any sequence of DNA through large enough number of random copying errors. I would like for you to demonstrate to me how that is possible because we actually know it's not possible to generate new information as I uh, specified earlier information always without fail is a specified arrangement a complex specified arrangement of symbols that performs a function or conveys a message if you are copying the and you have copying errors the problem is, is with your mentality you have the functional working information and now you have an error copying that functional working information now that by definition that working information is no longer working the best you could hope for is a neutral situation so if an organism has the ability to change uh, on the genetic level as you're talking about it would have to be by definition adaptation and not an increase of evolution since the sequence of dna could produce this way since any sequence of DNA could be produced this way. I don't know where you're getting that. You don't have any idea of what can be produced if you're using a random sequence generator or any random generator. You cannot know what is being produced. So this is just a non-starter. To demonstrate, number one, suppose that I were to take the genome of a single-celled, uh, you're, you're, I can't even say the word, uh, and I, I wrote a computer program to make a random changes to it. At any time, a nucleotide is changed to match a nucleotide in the human genome. It is locked in and not allowed to mutate any further, simulating negative selection. After billion, several billion interactions, uh, inter iterations, this algorithm will reproduce will produce the human genome. Does this process involve the creation of new information? Actually, I don't know where you're getting this because that does not work. Uh, you do not ever get new information. Uh, information, our genetics, all biological systems are conservative by their very nature. They are not creative. You have genetic entropy. You have the second law of thermodynamics, which is entropy itself, that dictates this, that you never get an increase of information. You can only get a rearranging of the existing information, no new information. And after billions of iterations, this algorithm, an algorithm is produced by an intelligence. Will produce the human genome? A yes, I would agree. If you've set your mind to it, you could write anything in DNA because it's a language. It is specified complex arrangement of symbols that you can use to actually write a novel or produce a human. Would you agree that the human genome contains information not present in the single cell? I can't, I, I can't even say that word. Never could, and I'm not even going to try. Uh, but again, the fact of the matter is we know that no new information is added to the genome after the moment of conception. Right at the moment of conception, you have all the genetic information you will ever have, and it never gets any better than that. That's why it is wrong to kill an unborn baby because at the moment of conception, you are a human being and you have everything you will ever have information wise, genetically speaking, you have everything you will ever have. The only difference between an unborn baby and a person out of the womb is time and environment. That's it. I agree that number two is unlikely to ever occur in nature because the search space of mutations is too large well mutations don't ever give you any beneficial uh new information the only thing that is beneficial in mutations is when they have a loss of information such as with um uh, genetic or excuse me uh, anti uh, viruses and uh, antibacterial antiviruses that does 
uh, actually have, no longer have the information available in their genome that make them susceptible to the antibiotics. Natural selection isn't that strong. Well, natural selection doesn't work. Natural selection is a misnomer. Nature cannot select for anything. That is actually is anthrop anthropomorphizing nature, and it doesn't work. Um, and the likelihood of irreducible complex, irreducibly complex systems. Yes, every biological system is irreducibly complex. The fact of the matter is, your circulatory system is irreducibly complex, and that circulatory system is dependent upon the nervous system, which is dependent upon the respiratory system, which is dependent upon the uh, uh, circulatory. Excuse me, not circulatory system, but also the extra extra, uh, extra system. I need more coffee. But anyway, all these systems are in, uh, not only irreducibly complex, but are interdependent upon each other, and they are irreducibly complex that way as well. Let me give you an example. What evolved first, the heart or the veins or the blood that the heart pumps? You see, again, every biological system is irreducibly complex in that fashion. So we don't have to worry about... Uh, understanding uh, natural selection. Natural selection doesn't work. Um, natural selection, it's not natural selection, it's a selection of the, uh, it's not survival of the fittest, it's survival of the luckiest. You don't know who's going to be lucky enough to survive. Now, um, subsets of evolution, uh, no, there's no such thing. Uh, how much subsets of this process occur uh, as with evolution? No, there's no such thing as evolution. You have an adaptation of the existing information that make these things available. There is no new information that comes into the system. Because again, remember, we're defining information in a very tightly uh, uh, specific fashion. And that would be that information only comes from an intelligent source. And this information that only comes from an intelligent source is an arrangement, a complex arrangement, of specified complex arrangement of symbols that performs a function or conveys a message and uses a transmitter and a receiver and an agreed upon language. You see, when you have mutation, when you have a copying error, that agreed upon language has now um, got noise into the system. You have noise in the signal. Noise does not help your signal. It makes it worse over time. I hope that has helped. And if you like, you can visit my website at mrbatman.com to find out more. And always feel free to send your questions to jim at mrbatman.com. Thanks and have a blessed day.